Hey Threadheads, Darren here again with another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying a caddis pipa fly that features a double bead. This one's called the Abyssal Caddis Pupa and I've seen this one on DD7365's channel a while back and he does his tutorials in French so I thought why not present one for the English crowd. Anyways, this is a great little fly pattern. I've changed it up a little bit from what he does so maybe you can get a few different ideas. This one I'm tying in a chartreuse in black but I also do it in a peacock and orange version and as well as a pale yellow body with a darker thorax. Anyways I hope you enjoy this one. Let's get started. <laughs> We're going to start off with a Mustad C49S hook and I've put a couple beads on here. This is a 332nd black bead followed by a 532nd gold bead. You can see the nice size difference and I just love the way that this makes it look like this fly has a tiny little caddis head already. I'm going to use a 6 aught uni thread on this one in chartreuse. And I'll just start the fly right behind the bead. Just going to establish the thread, trim it out. And then the next material I'm going to use is a vinyl rib. And I'm using a clear medium vinyl rib here. So we're going to make sure that we tie this down with the flat side along the hook shank. You can give a little bit of space in behind the eye or in behind the hook in the, the bead and we're just going to run this down almost to the bend of the hook and we'll run it back up. We're going to place the vinyl rib on the far side of the hook and what next? I'm going to make a loop that we're not going to populate right away here. So I've got my dubbing loop and dubbing spinner tool here. I'm just going to make a small loop and I'm going to hang it off the back of the fly. Don't need a ton, probably two inches is enough. So I'm not going to fill this up yet. I've got a little bit more to do first. Next, I'm going to take a couple pieces of pearl flashaboo just to tie in a little bit of flash on the underbody of this fly. We got about three strands here. So I'm going to tie that in at the eye. And then just secure it down along the hook shank. Got hot lights here, try not to touch it with my arms. Alright. This is a little tricky with hot lights and a camera, but without the camera, this is actually a really fast fly to tie. Alright, so we got just a little bit of extra flash on there. It might be hard to see on this. Trim that off. Next we're going to wrap the vinyl rib. We're going to do open wraps on this. Ouch. I'm going to take that, I'm just going to put the thread in a bobbin holder here for a second. Just 
I'm just going to do fairly open loop so that we can seat our dubbing loop in between the vinyl rib when we wrap it up. I'm going to tie that off just behind the bead here, as close to the bead as you can. I like to tie it off on the underside. Make sure you get both sides so that it gets locked in. All right. Now I'm going to take a little bit of caddis green or insect green, diamond dubbing or chartreuse or ice dub, whatever you've got. Ice dub, diamond dub, almost identical products. You don't need a lot. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this on the side and I'm going to spin that just to tighten the loop. And then we'll wrap that up. Up the hook shank. You want to just make sure that you are seating that loop in between the wraps of the vinyl rib. There you go. Trim off the excess. Now you can leave the fly like that or you can add just a little bit of a darker color. I've got like a black peacock diamond dub. I'm just going to add a little, few little strands there. Just in behind the bead, I'm going to use a couple half hitches to finish this fly off. It just helps hide the thread in the bead without putting a big half hitch. There you go. And that is the abyssal pupa.